What's up guys, Ian here from Co-Create Today, taking your mindset from a place of lack to a place of abundance. Today I just want to talk about and uh, kind of reconcile what I've been thinking about in the past few days or so and what, what am I doing and where am I going? So, uh, this is kind of just an update. Uh, this is uh, in March 2018, just uh, halfway through it. And, you know, I don't really know what to expect, honestly. Uh, I would like to be in a better circumstance, better situation. Uh, I would like to be less dependent on others. I would like to be less dependent on a job, and I would like to be less dependent on um, family and whatnot. And it makes me wonder, what am I doing that is slowing me down? Or what am I missing that's hindering me from actually achieving what I want to achieve and getting to a level of uh, independency at which uh, I would like to um, stay in. And being financial independent is so, so important to me. And it, it just is one of my biggest reason why to build an asset, make YouTube videos, and just all around just find other ways to make money. And, you know, what I've been doing so far is uh, really, really plateaued um, or it even hasn't been started yet and it's it's frustrating and I question whether or not I'm doing the right things that are actually going to uh, create financial independency for myself so the first question I had to ask myself is that do I even care do I even care and matter of fact making this video for my 37 subscribers that don't even watch my videos shows that I do care about making videos I do care about this presentation that I'm setting for myself I do care about expanding myself and becoming a better speaker a better person a better individual that's able to share his words and able to connect with other people's hearts I care about that and <clears throat> in the same way I care about other people I want to be able to show people like hey like these are amazing things to have and if you can let go of all your distractions you can jump on board of this amazing train of success to actually build what you want to do and do what you want to do have what you want to have and that's all through uh, just getting around the right people and for me it's uh, having my mentor really um, take his arm over me and just really shadow me to become a better individual and a better person and I want to I want to be able to connect with people and I want to be able to um, talk highly of others um, <clears throat> just so I can be talked highly of. And it's really, uh, really hard when things really aren't going your way and um, the process is very slow. And I, I don't wanna be a, one to, to complain at all, <clears throat> but I ask myself these questions because I'm wondering what I'm missing or if I'm doing something wrong. and. I just had to look at myself. Do I even care about the process? Do I really care about doing these things? And I think the answer is yes. But I should use that to amplify what I'm doing. Do you really care when you're out every single day trying to get in conversations? Do you really care? Are you really setting that intention to really become abundant and uh, influential? And I think I need to check into myself to really um, know that I do care and I do want financial independency. I think maybe um, when I think too far in the future, maybe I'm thinking in a very 
iffy spot in my life. So, for example, what if I'm thinking too close? Like, I'm thinking like one to two years ahead. And it makes me confused. I'm like, oh, I have some restrictions. Just like, oh, what if this happens? Like, how am I going to have a relationship? Uh, how am I going to um, deal with girls? Like, how would they see this opportunity? And what, what would they want me to do? And I think that's really important to think about. But I don't think that it's, it's helping me in a way that is uh, growing my my confidence and my um, commitment to my business and my only suggestion to myself is to maybe think out a little longer think five to ten years rather than one to two that's very malleable um, those years are really really affected on what you do today <clears throat> now if I don't catch on beforehand those days those two to five years may look a lot different than how I see in my head. So um, my, my intuition tells me to think long term, longer than that, and possibly never even think about those years because those, those are um, very confident, it's not confidential, conflicting um, time areas in my life. And uh, for me to be conflicted and hesitant is not good if I'm trying to build an asset and truly connect with people and build trust. And the last one is I want to um, find that there is no difficulty when doing what I like and what I love, my passion. So I feel like as I go on building my asset, talking to people and influencing people is going to be something that's like literally has no level. Like it's something that I just do. It's something that I'm working on my craft at. I'm honing my craft and there is no difficulty because I'll put in as much time as I need. And whether or not it's effective time, uh, I'm still putting in that work. I'm still putting in that time because that time is what you get back. So instead of investing um, money or your hours for pay I'm I'm basically investing my time and hopefully that I can get um, a back something back in return reciprocated for uh, my efforts and even though it's taking very 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 long so time I don't there's no need for me to rush so if I can just stay consistent and just keep on going with the positive attitude I know that things are gonna look a lot better and all I can do is just work harder work smarter and be a little happier so I hope you guys like this video if you like these videos go ahead and hit subscribe other than that I hope you guys have a beautiful day and I'll catch you later namaste